a balance. So one of the things that I feel is important for coaches, especially like the coaches that are that next wave of coaches. So like Shaco and Louis Simmons have been doing this for 30, 40 years, that next wave of us that are doing this now. We need to take what they've done and we need to build off of it. It's the coaches and the lifters out there that are like West Side sucks, Shaco sucks and stuff like that. It's not, and you try to do something completely different, you're kind of throwing away the 40 plus years of progress that they made um, within the sport because both of them have had great results doing what they've done. So our job is to take past paradigms and just build off of them. So one of the things, you know, when I started researching more and more about this stuff, I stumbled across a dynamic systems theory approach to skill acquisition. So this is where I call what we do a constraints led conjugate program. And this is where I got the name from. So dynamic systems theory constraints led approach. And that's what I'm going to cover in this today. So it's basically taking what Shaco was doing to improve technical efficiency and just building off of it from what we've learned recently in the skill acquisition literature. Um, so what I really like about like a dynamic systems theory is it's not a reductionist approach to training. So oftentimes you'll see training programs look at the human body as a machine. Right, so like a lot of our research is done with like EMG studies. So it'll be at these positions, these muscles are most active. And people will look at the technique breakdowns and be like, oh, well, if their technique's breaking down at the bottom of a squat, it's gonna be a quad weakness. So then they start programming based off of that weakness. And that's assuming that our coordination and our efforts underneath those maximal attempts in the, in the lifts are a sum of all of those muscles put together. When um, I encourage everybody to go back and listen to the longer presentation I did on the first chapter of super training where we kind of discussed this. But strength is the coordination of muscular movement. So all of the muscles coming together and performing a task literally is one unit. So it's not, you can't just separate the two. And at the same time, you can't separate the psychological aspects from the mechanical aspects. It's one human that's trying to perform this, this one task. So the coordinated effort and how efficient that is, is not necessarily one muscle's weakness that's contributing to that. Now, as I say that, it doesn't mean we can completely disregard that aspect because obviously programs that do that have been very successful for a period of time. So it is something that we need to keep in mind and we need to understand we don't have all of the answers. Um, but I view it as more of a holistic approach because I feel, you know, if we're at the bottom of a squat and we're working on the technical efficiency at the bottom of a squat, I can put them in positions that really target those angles and I don't have to worry about which specific muscles are being active because knee extension is happening. So the quads are being hit, but it's being hit within the movements themselves. So where I kind of differ from like a West side program is we do a lot of repetition. So our max effort days are not necessarily lower volume. They're more moderate volume. So we're getting a lot of repetitions instead of doing accessory work. Cause I feel there's a lot of carryover. But with that said, there comes a lot of, um, you got to know your lifters very well and through years of experience with me fucking this up i'm much better at handling fatigue now than i was then um so understanding those concepts is extremely important okay so getting getting back to what i was saying about dynamic systems theory is we are not machines um what i want to see happen is i use this term a lot so i want to see the person self-organize into better technique and a higher 1RM. So basically what, what happens is, is the self-organization is when our emotions, our beliefs, our culture,